Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. I am out here at the Fuller Dam. Uh, second attempt at making this video. I didn't have a whole lot of luck yesterday. We're going to try again today. It is a very chilly fall morning. Late November, there's frost on the ground. That wind is slightly kicking. Hopefully you guys can hear me good. So we're going to get out here and try a couple hours. Hopefully we don't freeze to death and see if we can catch some of these super finicky trout. All right, guys, there's still a lot of really nice, good sized trout out there. This time we're gonna start with the cheese fromage. It's gonna get me a little pinch about the size of a marble. I like to press that on around my hook. And then I'll take it and I'll kind of roll it back and forth until we got a little ball formed like that. I can see several trout laying out there. One looks like he's a five or six pounder, nice trout. We're just gonna cast out there. <laughs> we spooked that one trout. All right, so there's a couple of them moving. I didn't even see those two there. Got two that are circling in. They're acting all erratic, like they want to hit that. They're scared. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're circling. I've already had two come right up touch it. Just waiting on one to pick it up. Oh, that one actually moved it. big one come up and took a look at it I literally I mean I've only been in the water like two or three minutes and there's a bunch of trout stacked up right here they're still a little bit finicky you can tell scared to swing at anything so it looks like today might be another waiting game once again, we're going to give each lure, or excuse me, each bait, no bait, about 15 to 20 minutes apiece, and then we're changing them out. We got a nice trout, but he's wrapped us in that tree. Oh, as you can see, he's a pretty trout. Oh, we got loose, we got loose. Oh my gosh, guys, we got loose. Where's my net, where's my net? Oh man, this is a pretty trout. Shoot, we. Oh, it's a big one too. I don't know if we can land him. Oh my God, without falling in the dang water. Holy cow, what a rainbow. That might be a citation. Oh God. Dang, if I could get him without falling in the water. Oh, we didn't think this one through. Come on. Come on. Yes. Dang, what a trout. He hit that power bait, guys. Holy cow. What a monster rainbow. All right. See, I see. I might be able to get that one out. All right. We're going to measure this guy. This might be a citation. Twenty inches, guys. Twenty 
20 inch rainbow. Beautiful. All right. Guys, so I had to retie my line where he caught us up in that tree. Really frayed the line up pretty bad on that. But that makes one fish a piece. <clears throat> So, so far, both baits have produced. The bigger of the two was that 20 inch rainbow and that was caught on the cheese formage natural scent. So now we're going to switch back over to Potsky Firebait. That one took about just under 20 minutes. I had walked over to the car to try and warm my hand up. No sooner than I got halfway over there, I turned around, I saw my rod dancing. Whew. And I had to come running back and he already had me up in that tree. So, all right, we're gonna do the same thing. I've just retied this back up. I checked my hook, my hook seems okay. Not gonna switch it out. But I did retie just because that tree had us hung up pretty bad and had a lot of well that wasn't a good cast let's get back out there further shoo it's cold my hands are freezing this morning <clears throat> let's see if we can re replicate that that was such a nice fish i cannot believe <clears throat> we caught him that quick so what we'll do is we'll give this one 15 minutes like we did the other one if we don't get no hits within 15 minutes we're going to walk down and change up location although there are several more trout here that are still good sized that one was definitely a nice one we were blessed to get a look at him very nice trout Got a couple hits there. Don't believe he took it though. Ah, oh, we missed him. Oh, no, we didn't. We got it. Must be small. Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't know if it was the twig, but I felt like we had a trout. Got our first hit. Oh, he might have dropped it. Dang, we missed him. <laughs> Slow on the draw. All right, let's bait back up and get back out there. It's a hungry fish. Man. Something toying with our line. Here it goes. Thank you, took it. Nope. Dang. How are we missing so many fish? I don't know, guys. It's three that we've missed. Put some more of this cheese bait on. I think this is the one that <clears throat> the last one struck at. 
All right, guys, so we've moved further down. A lot of them tried up there, still pretty finicky. What parts I could see. They were coming right up to this bait. And we're too finicky to strike. So we're gonna change up spots here. Whew. Very, very cold. I'm gonna attempt to keep my hands warm. <laughs> got our pole set up and we're just gonna wait got him that time oh yeah <laughs> literally I was here about probably less than a minute nice little rainbow pretty little rainbow <laughs> little booger smacked it hard and then started running to the bank you can see his tail's been chewed up all right let's get him unhooked real quick all right guys pretty little rainbow <laughs> my rod took right off guys sorry I couldn't record the hook set but man he took it off good size rainbow up here yep pretty rainbow good size one. Oh, where's my net there it is Real nice rainbow, pretty one. A little closer to the 12, 14 inch bar. Let's get the hook out real quick, then we'll get a picture. All right guys, that trout was caught on our power bait. Berkeley now has two to one and catches. But I had another one take a swipe at that in a different spot. I could actually see him, he's still out there. I'm gonna rebait back up this time with the same power bait. Just because I hadn't had a whole lot of luck with the pot ski. Not for sure if they've just overseen this flavor or what but I hadn't really noticed them swinging at it today although they were on fire the first day that I was here we're going to try this one more time hopefully he's still out there where I saw him and we're going to fish this spot another moment <clears throat> Let's see what happens you guys can see good and don't have no moisture on the lens
All right, guys. So have a small rant here. I run up on this the first day I come out here to fish. Someone had left their net, their glove, and four nice rainbows. I want to hope and say that this was a kid that done this, but chances are this was probably an adult. This is just ridiculous. This is the reason that places don't let people fish hardly. This is the reason people started posting their property. It's because everyone just leaves their garbage everywhere. Your bait cups, your trash, your food. Even if it is a kid. Teach them the right and proper way. If you're gonna be out here fishing, <clears throat> follow the rules. Don't leave a bunch of trash, and litter, and garbage. This right here is just ridiculous. <clears throat> We're gonna throw the trash here. Literally a trash can right here next to the banks. No reason for people to throw their garbage the way they have. It's just ridiculous. We're just gonna dump these trout. <clears throat> it's because that's ridiculous. They've been laying there for over a day almost two or three days now we're gonna leave the net for someone else to come take a look at once again we're just getting rid of some garbage that people's left here we're gonna leave it better than when we came There we go, guys. Feel a little bit better now that we've cleaned some stuff up for our fishing area here. Oh. Just trying to do a good deed. leaving it better than when we came.